Hello and welcome to Gardening at 58 North. This is just a short video about some sensitive plants that I've been germinating recently. Um, I've had pretty good, probably 60-70% germination rate. You can see the first seedlings coming up here. And the first two leaves are just in the centre there of the seed leaf. They're not quite ready but they're not far off. I reckon another three or four days and they'll be up. Um, I've grown sensitive plants once before. I grew up with them in Hong Kong as well, so I'm quite used to the actual plant, but I've never really grown much from seed before. Um, so I've been experimenting with how to germinate them uh, with hot water and with strong lights because they need to be soaked in hot water, surprisingly hot, 60 degrees, and then they need to be under some bright lights to germinate because they don't germinate in darkness. So they are a little bit tricky to germinate. I'm going to do a germination video in the next few days, maybe next week or two, to show you how I germinate it and the technique that I've been using, which has been quite successful so far. Um, I will also give you an update on these plants again as they get bigger. And what I'm thinking of doing is I might start selling these because I've worked myself in in, plant, in garden centres for a number of years, and I was buying in a lot of garden plants for the garden centres, but in none of the plant catalogues in in the UK or Europe. Did I see any sensitive plants for sale? And I've never seen them for sale in um, in, in any garden centres either, or any florist flower shops. So there's definitely a gap in the market. And I was thinking they're really they're really interesting plants for people to see. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do a few videos on how people can grow them because they can buy the seeds anywhere online. It's very easy to buy the seeds, and that'll help you guys grow your own. But I'll also possibly start up a eBay shop. I'm not sure yet. It depends how well I can get these plants growing and I might try growing them in large numbers and start selling them as well. So um, I'll keep you guys updated about how my sensitive plants go. Um, the Latin name for these is Mimosa pudica. There's other Mimosa plants which are very similar that also move as well. But the Mimosa pudica seems to be the best for the movement when you touch the leaves. Um, and it has lovely, lovely pink pom pom flowers as well. So I don't see why it shouldn't be a popular house plant, especially as it's such a novel feature that that it moves its leaves. So I'll um, give you guys an update on how to grow these plants, and that'll be coming up in the next few weeks.